Gokwan joins the Loose Women at 12.30, but to take us to Friday lunchtime, it's a real bucket list moment for me right now on ITV to proudly introduce This Morning with Richard and Judy. What time is it? Time is but a simple uh, illusion, my friend. You'll never find it. Once. If you want it, you've got to make it, seize it, grab it. Your can time you is... tell me the time? It's 10.30am. Dunelm, proud sponsors of This Morning. As they Hello. used to say, do not adjust your set. <laughs> uh, hello and welcome to your Fridays this morning. I was going to say it's lovely to be back, but it's actually weird, isn't it? It's very, very weird. We're talking to Paul O'Grady in a minute. He says he's just got new lenses in his specs, and that's exactly how this feels here. We didn't have feels these. really strange. When we, when we last did, go on. You've got yours too. <laughs> reading glasses. Reading glasses. glasses. Hey. Yeah, OK. Uh, let me tell you, that's not the only thing that's changed, so <laughs> I'm glad I'm wearing a suit. Um, <laughs> right, well, uh, we're what? starting the... <laughs> We're starting the show uh, with an old mate of ours, a TV legend Paul O'Grady is on the sofa. We're going to chat to Paul in, uh, in just a second. But before that, here's what's coming up on the rest of today's show. And with under a week to go until Halloween, Alison Hammond is taking us inside Britain's creepiest cottage. But what horrors await? We'll find out later. After she bravely opened up about her battle with Crohn's disease on Channel 4's The Circle, I'm going to be reunited with my bestie, Georgina, as she tells us why she is determined to raise awareness of the condition. And he's the nine-year-old boy who took on a pharmaceutical giant and won as a life-changing fib cystic fibrosis drug finally becomes available on the NHS. Lewis joins us on the sofa with his biggest supporter, Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn. And on this day of all days, it's a good time to get him on the show, isn't it? Because, of course, we'll be talking Christmas general elections with him. Is it going to be yay or nay, Jeremy? Because, actually, the power lies with him. Now, she's shocked to start them with girl group Eternal. Almost 30 years on, Louise joins us live to reveal all about her exciting return with a brand-new album. So, Alison takes us inside Britain's spookiest house at 10.45. I'll be reunited with Georgina from The Circle as we talk Crohn's disease at 5 to 11. Nine-year-old Lewis joins us with Jeremy Corbyn at 5 past 11. And Louise Redknapp tells us about her musical comeback at 11.20. And also on today's show, always our go-to girl for no-nonsense advice, Vanessa Feltz is back to take your calls. And this morning, Vanessa's going to help you with a topic that she very first covered on this show... 26 years ago. Look at this. So, if you're a single girl this morning, here's the Vanessa Feltz five-point love plan. Dating's tough enough, even when you're a teenager. Second time round, let's face it, it can be hell. Love's far too important to lead to chance. You've got to go out there and make it happen. You could take a look in the small ads. Or better still, put one in yourself. Sign up for something. Pottery, potholing, French conversation, car maintenance, who cares? You may not be young, but at least you're free and single. So get out there, girl, and just start to mingle. And finally, it's all about fun. Everybody loves a party animal. There are plenty of amazing places to go. For example, this one. There's a phone on every table. And if you find somebody who thinks it's really fanciable, you can give them a bell. It's for me. Pottery. And the, and oh, my and God. And that phone was a hangover from the 1980s. I know. That was V's first appearance as our This Morning Agony Aunt when Denise couldn't do it. Uh, and you discovered her, actually, didn't you? You discovered Well, Vanessa. that's a bit grandiose. Well, you did. You got on the telly. She, I, well, she was writing for a, a really funny column for a magazine. I think it was called She. Yeah. Uh, and I read it and I thought she sounded hilarious. And I thought, oh, we must get her on, and we did. And she's here. And she's been going strong ever since, and here she is today, back to help you with your love dilemmas. Hello, V. How Hello. are you? Oh, so nice to see you both. Of course, I'm eternally grateful. Thank you very much for all you did for me and everybody else. Um, yes, I was talking about love tips. I mean, they haven't changed very much over the years, I suppose. So if you've got love dilemmas, you don't know how to declare your love, you're in a relationship that's going all wrong and you're not quite sure how to get the mojo back, you want to break up with someone, or indeed you've just been broken up with and you can't recover, give us a call and we'll see if we can help you. Out. Yeah, one little detail, V. We, we never discussed this at the time, but actually it's 10%, you know. 10% <laughs> for Judy. Okay, I owe you. What? 25 years, yeah. I owe you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right.